Hi guys, if you're a part of the 2D community and you've heard my announcement that I'm going to be making my way across to the 3D universe as well as the 2D universe and your first reaction was, eh, 3D animation doesn't interest me, then today's video is for you because I'm going to show you something that just might change your mind and have you thinking, eh, maybe I should follow along and see what this guy's up to. Okay, because today I'm going to show you how to make your own custom motions for Cartoon Animator. Custom motions that you can drag and drop for instant results on 2D characters using only your phone or your video camera or whatever you use to record your footage. There's going to be no heavy machinery, no great expenses. There's no fancy get up that you've got to wear. It's just going to be your footage turned into motion capture files that you can use in Cartoon Animator. First of all, the first thing we need to do <clears throat> is to come through this door. We've never done that before because this is the door to my house. And the reason that I want to take you in here is to show you exactly how I go about filming. Okay, I've got a nice blank open wall here all right, where I can film. And then over here, I have my ring light and my little tripod set up so that we can film me doing some stuff and we'll turn it into motion capture files. First thing we need to do here is to get you positioned up on a tripod. Let's do that now. Here we go. Okay, now, all we need to do, step back so that we're in frame, okay? Make sure that your arms are inside the frame. <clears throat> we don't want to be outside of that. Now we're just gonna create a motion. I'll just do something where I pick something up off the ground and we'll see if we can turn that into a motion. Okay, you ready? So, he's standing here, he's looking around, he sees something on the ground, bends over and picks it up, oh, it holds it up and has a look at it. That's it. That's our motion. Now, let's get back to the office and see if we can't turn that into a motion. Okay, I've got my footage recorded. Now what I've done is to upload it to Dropbox. I'm going to download it from Dropbox so that it's on my computer. Now I have my file downloaded to my computer that's got my footage in it and I've got CapCut ready to edit that footage down to just the clip that I want to turn into my motion. And what I'm going to do here is to create a new project in CapCut, and I'm going to bring my footage into there, drag it down to the timeline, and find the point on my timeline that is just my motion, because that's all we want to turn into our motion. And we're going to export that as an MP4. Now we go across to the Quick Magic site and we log in, create an account and log in. And we're going to be presented with the online version of our site for Quick Magic, where we've got all of our files that we save. Quick Magic uses V coins, okay, for credits. Uh, you'll get a certain amount of free credits that you can test all this with to start with and make sure that it works for you, which it will. I instantly subscribed to the site, cost me $10 US a month for a, a limited number of V coins, which I can top up if I need it. That's plenty for me at the moment. All we need to do now is go through to our AI mocap section here. And we import our video file. So we need to find our video file, which is here, new motion, open, and it will upload our video directly to the website. All we need to do now is to choose a model from the side here, and I use the Unreal 4 model. It's just the one that I find gives good results. Select that, it's applied the model to our video. You can see that it's captured it. All I need to do now is hit next, I've got my motion, full body, original pose, general camera option. I'm going to export it as the Unreal 4 model and it will cost me nine credits. I select generate now and now it will start to convert my video into a motion capture FBX file. While my video uploads here, I just wanna jump in and say something real quick. 3D animation is scary when you get started. I'll tell you now, I was scared when I very first started. I put it off for a very long time. I tried it several times. I wasn't getting the hang of it and I nearly gave up. But I stuck with it. 
I slowed down, I went to the basics, I watched all the tutorials, uh, I listened to people, I did reading, I pointed and clicked and just played around in the software for a while. And once you do, it's, it's truly, it's not scary, it's exciting. It's just different. It's different to what we know. But if you are a cartoon animator user, you are already a long way into this journey because so much of the stuff that I'm going to show you already uses the same processes that cartoon animator uses. They still use keyframing and you know the, the way you move your characters around with, with all your, your pivot points and that sort of thing is very, very similar. The differences are now we can move 360 degrees around a character. We can light scenes in different ways. We can have moving cameras that work differently. There's a lot of different stuff, but truly less scary, more exciting. Let's get back and have a look and see how we're going here. Now that your video is finished, we can just download the zip file, save it to the folder of our choice, and it doesn't matter where you save this, but unzip the file, and now we have an FBX file. You can store that FBX file anywhere on your computer. Now open iClone and import any character provided with the software. I'm just gonna use this cartoon base character. Now, simply drag and drop your FBX file directly onto the character. For the motion profile, I choose the Unreal base character and leave the rest as it is. Just click Convert All and watch your new motion in action. And because we're in iClone, we can rotate anywhere around this character and the motion still works. But to save this motion so it will work on cartoon animator actors, find the motion on the motion timeline, right click and choose save motion clip. Name your motion and save it as an RL motion file. Load a character to stage mode in cartoon animator and then drag and drop your RL motion file onto them. You'll see the import 3D motion window with a skeleton of a 3D character. This skeleton represents the 3D actor in iClone. All you need to do is match up the camera angle of the skeleton with the angle the 2D character is drawn on. Generally for my characters, that's gonna be about 45 degrees. Hit apply to timeline and your motion now applies to your 2D character. Now you can save your RL motions and build a library you can add to any characters. So there you have it. It's not nearly as hard as you think, right? That's all the steps. Every time you wanna do it, that's all you need to do. You can create yourself an entire library of motions now, all your own custom motions. Now look, there are plenty of other motion capture software out there that will do the same job, a better job, I don't know. This is the one that I'm using. This is the only one I've used so far. It does exactly what I want, so I don't need to look any further, okay? If there are other motion capture software out there that you wanna use, terrific. For me, Quick Magic does an amazing job first time out of the gate. Thank you for watching. Join me on this journey as, as we discover 3D animation because I've got to tell you, I have so much to show you and we are going to have a lot of fun. See you on the next one. Bye.